Hello again, everyone. Today I'd like to talk about belts and straps that I use to get me through my daily life. This is a gate belt. It's a simple strap. They wrap it around your waist or chest to hold you up while you practice walking with a walker or sometimes on the parallel bars or whatever. They gave this to me in physical therapy when I was in there. And they're a great helper tool. If you fall, you can put it around your shoulders, under your arms in a loop, have someone help lift you. They're pretty good for a couple different uses. The other strap I wanted to show you was this one here. It's about six feet long and it has loops the entire length of it. This is a great strap to have around, all purpose strap. You could wrap this around your legs, put it over your shoulders or on your arm and do leg exercises with it, put it over your tips of your feet. There's all kinds of straps here or holes in the strap to hold, pull up on, which I will demonstrate. This strap is my handy strap that I use for just about everything. I keep this with me throughout the day in a little bag that I carry with me. And the purpose of this strap is, again, to lift my legs and I'll show you in a demonstration. I'm in a power chair, so I've removed this leg support here off the side of my chair. This is the hard part, getting my armrest up for myself. And you can see now I've attached a, a tub support bar over here, which I probably should have shown you better, but I'll show, you'll see it better once I get in the shower. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to ask for a handicapped apartment. So with the handicapped apartment, they actually had a couple of grab bars in here. I've actually replaced my towel bar. Here I'm lifting my leg up over the tub and in. This is a bench seat that I had to order. I used to have a shower chair, but I had to trade it in for a bench transfer seat. Not that I like it. I did you know, like the, the chair better because it had more support, but this works. I guess even the leg spasms that we have does serve me a purpose because I do have strong legs and it's because of the spasms that I have the strong legs and you can't see but I'm taking the strap under my knee I'm lowering it down close to my ankle I'm pulling up to throw my leg into the bathtub. I slide over. Now, that I've gotten in with shorts and the top on, if I were actually taking a shower, I could actually grab onto the grab bar here and here and stand up and take the shorts off for my shower. Getting out of the shower, I think, is a little more difficult than getting in. One reason is it's easy to get overheated with multiple sclerosis. 
that's not a good thing. This leg. I'm fortunate to have strong arms and strong legs, I guess you could say. Even though all I can do with them is stand and pivot. But I'm happy to have that. Back in the chair. That's a spare strap that I keep in the shower all the time. Turn on my chair and I'm good to go. Again, I'm using a simple loop strap that these are straps that I have made up on my own. I happen to have a roll of this laying around. What I didn't mention before was this strap with the loops in it is available on Amazon for about $10, give or take. And I like this strap because it's wider and it gives you a lot more room. Now, my left leg is the leg that's actually bad or numb or dead, whatever you want to call it. So that's the leg that I'm going to be lifting to get into the bed. I simply put my hand through the loop, which is also my bad hand, by the way. My left. I would normally use this simple strap, but not everybody's gonna be able to get a strap like that, so I'm demonstrating with this strap, which is actually quite long for this purpose, but it'll work, it'll do the job. Now, simply pushing off the side of the bed, I'm able to pivot enough to pull my legs up on the bed. No, not everybody has a trapeze like I have either. But if you're disabled enough, you can get one. This is a hospital bed. Now I used the corner of the nightstand. Actually, I purposely weighed down my nightstand good and heavy so that I could use it for the simple purpose of getting out of bed. Swinging my legs off the bed to the side, pulling over and sitting up. Just like that. Not an easy thing to do, but I can do it. Well, thank you for joining me today. That concludes this week's video. I hope you liked it. Please hit the like button if you did. And feel free to share it with your friends. And please subscribe for my next video next week. Thank you.